Bros bag. What's going on, YouTube motorcycle friends? Today we are in the studio with Ugly Bros. Ugly Bros riding jeans. So I never thought I would get a pair of riding jeans. I had seen a few different styles in uh, the stores and they didn't seem very comfortable. The material, the jeans, it was um, very stiff and it didn't seem like something I would want to wear for a long time. I saw these online and they looked pretty cool so I thought I'd give them a try. They are expensive or they're towards the upper end of, of riding jeans. These were $345. These are the uh, Motor Pool K Black Kevlar. Um, let's look at some of the tags that come on it because this is way too much information for me to remember. Uh, the inner material inside the jean, this yellow material here, this is what they're calling a pteramid. It's a superior tenacious fabric reinforced with DuPont Kevlar, steel, carbon fiber, and titanium, and a PBO fiber. I don't know what a PBO fiber is. They're water resistant, oil, and soil repellent. So they're not really going to keep you dry in a downpour, but maybe a sprinkle. You'll stay uh, dry. Uh, if you're interested, they are made in South Korea and they do come with some protection, which is nice. They come with these knee pads, which slide right into the front of the pants. So uh, if you stop riding and you want to just enjoy the day without having these big cumbersome knee pads, they slide right out. It also comes with these hip protectors, which are okay. They're, they're, they're not the most comfortable thing to wear on your in your pants but uh i guess if you crash you'll be happy to have them so the pads the knee pads and the hip pads are ce level one rated they have other ones that are um ce level two but they're called the they're 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 designated by the pro label and they don't come with these pants i think there's something extra you have to buy these are called the power tector power protection system uh, and they are made with some sustainable kind of materials, I guess. Um, good luck trying to read this. You need glasses and a magnifying glass. And the back shows all different types of pads and protection that they have. Okay, that's what Ugly Bros sends with it. That's what they say about their jeans. Now, real world, how are these things? They are super comfortable. Um, I did a nice long ride in them. Temperature started about in the 40 degree mark and um, they are not really meant to keep you warm. It does block out some of the wind, but you could feel the cold air through them. As the temperature got up into like the 50s, the mid 50s, they were super comfortable. I don't know what it would be like in 80, 85 or higher temperatures. I would imagine that with this pteramid liner that's in it it's almost kind of like a felt material that it's probably you probably get pretty sweaty like swamp ass um okay before we get back to the studio review of the ugly bros pants i want to make this quick uh update on my riding experience with the ugly bros pants i'm riding with them right now uh, i've had an opportunity to ride a few different times in a couple of different types of conditions with them and i will say I still really enjoy these pants. They're very, very comfortable. The elastic part that's right above the knees and the elastic part that's around the waistband just keeps them fitting very secure, very snug, but they don't feel too tight. They flex with your, uh, with your legs and they're super comfortable. The only complaint I have about these pants, and it's probably nothing that can really be done, is that they are definitely not summer pants. Um, it's not that they're overly hot, but um, what's happening? What's happening? It's not that they're overly hot. The only problem is, is that they have that aramid fabric that's all around the crotch and the seat and down your thighs a little bit. And um, it's there's no wind flow there. There's no air flow at all. So it gets pretty hot in your crotch. 
but other than that they're super comfortable now I have been using the knee pads in them which I really like because I'll get to a destination and if I want just slide the knee pads out and uh, it's just like wearing a real comfortable pair of jeans uh, but I have not been using the hip pads I find them to be a little bit uncomfortable uh, so I haven't tried riding with them on yet but that is my uh, updated ugly bros pants uh, review so now let's go back to the studio and see what I have to say about the pants thank you but other than that they were super comfortable the knee pads are really nice I, I really like this feature this is the one of the things I was looking for in a riding jean was that the knee pad just slides in the front and when you're out walking around you just can you know if it's too uncomfortable take these out throw them in your backpack and the jeans are really comfortable by themselves they're actually really nice i would almost probably just wear these without riding my motorcycle that's how comfortable they are and that's how cool i think they look they have uh, like a stretchy material right above the knee here which adds uh, a nice uh, flexible feeling in the knee they have side pockets the cargo pockets i really like they're not super big but they're definitely big enough just to throw your wallet in uh, and has cargo uh, snap buttons on the back pockets and on the cargo pockets if you look at the back side of these pants it also has that stretchy material right along the back side right along the the, the waist um, which also just adds to the comfort overall there's not a lot i can say about these jeans other than I think they look pretty cool and they are very comfortable to, to, to ride in. They're soft right out of the box and I would imagine, you know, a few rides in these and maybe wash them once. You got to be careful how you wash them. That they would be um, really, really comfortable after that. They're, they're uh, long enough to go all the way down and cover your boots nicely. Uh, I don't think you could tuck them into boots. I think it... They have to go out over the outside for sizing purposes uh, they they sit really low on the waist and I normally wear like a 33 34 uh, in my jeans um, but I like my jeans a little bit baggy or loose at least around the waist I ordered a 34 in these and they do fit perfect they're a little bit tight but not uncomfortable tight um, so I'm thinking that they just run small. So if you wear a 34 and your 34s are like spot on, then the 34 in this is going to be too tight. Probably have to go up a size. My 34 jeans usually are a little bit loose. So uh, getting the 34 in these puts them like right on that kind of sn snug, snuggish side, but uh, not uncomfortable and especially since they're riding jeans nothing else i can say about these i mean they are expensive i will say that if you don't mind dropping 300 bucks 350 bucks on a pair of jeans and you haven't found anything you're really happy with definitely check out these ugly bro uh jeans this is not a sponsored video i i paid cash for these and Ugly Bros, by the way, if you're watching and you want to send me some more uh, pants, I definitely will wear them and do a review on them. But this is a pant that I would definitely buy uh, another color of and drop another 350 bucks on because I think they're that good. Uh, all the stitching. Oh, I know what I didn't mention either. The zipper. It comes with the YKK zipper. And if you're not into zippers... You got to get YKK zippers. They are super strong. They are flawless usually in the way that they work. And when you get like the cheaper zippers, they break. I've never had a problem with the YKK zipper. It sounds like a stupid little thing uh, to, to worry about on a zipper. But uh, it's definitely worth making sure you invest in that. All the buttons are really good. Uh, it's a nice kind of like... Um, uh, metal metallic finish on them and there's all kinds of like stitching and labels and I don't know it's just a really nice product ugly bros did a great job putting this piece together 
and I'm kind of excited to try out some of their other pieces. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and hopefully I will see you out on the road. Take care.